Hello and welcome. Ever since he rejoined the BJP, Subramanian Swami has been one of its most vocal leaders. With his huge social media following, he has savaged the BJP's opponents and popularized its agenda. But today, Dr. Swami looks inwards. He worries about the economy, which he says is in a tailspin. He discusses the reasons why demonetization failed. He talks about the mess that he says is India's policy towards China. This may be Dr. Swami's most reflective interview so far. Let me start by talking about the economy. How would you rate the current state of the Indian economy? See, uh, last uh, May, on 9th May to be exact, I wrote uh, the PM a 16-page letter with statistics from his own departments mm -hmm. to show that there are five storm signals and uh, the growth rate, if it's calculated according to what I uh, said uh, to him, what he might have thought it pompous, that there's a Samuelson Swami theory of index numbers, which tells you how to calculate the correct index numbers. Yeah. For, I said the growth rate is lower than what is being told to you, and that it is going to decline. Now, this was how many months ago? May. May, okay. Uh, All right. Earlier on, I'd been sending him uh, on ad hoc issues, but this one was a comprehensive analysis and I kept it confidential, I did not publicize it. Uh, and I'm saying today that uh, the economy is in a tailspin. Really? You'll go that far? You uh, use yeah, the word yeah, tailspin? Yeah, yeah, it can crash. So we need to do a lot of good things and uh, to revive the economy. When you say in a tailspin, you mean what? We're not I mean, going to look at a revival of the rate of growth? No, 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 you can. Uh, even a tailspin can be made to steady and Depends on the... But if nothing is done, where are we headed? We are heading for a, a, a basically a major depression. It's not even recession, you're using the word depression? No, depression. There will be mass scale. Uh, banks might uh, collapse, for example. Factories might start closing. That it's sort of thing. It's, I'm not saying it's that bad. It's, you're saying it could... If you don't do anything... So what should they do? do the so what should they do? I think right now the most important thing to do is to enthuse the public. There is a deep disappointment uh, because they're piling taxes even for today, the latest on the petrol thing. Mm. And that's not small amount, eight rupees extra. Uh, I think uh, I, I go to my uh, suggestion that whatever you do, you must see, the public must see immediate change. Mm. Not that it's going to filter down, uh, we have done it, it will produce results. I think the first thing we should do is uh, abolish income tax. Okay. But that's been your policy since I the 1970s. Know, but it was such an easy thing to do, but they have not done it. Why? What is the argument? I think for uh, basically it's still that socialistic mentality. No, no, is, what's the argument for abolishing income tax, given that every well, country see has they, it? Abolishing income tax, first of all, it's immediately felt. Yes. What about the revenue loss? Because when you first propounded the theory, something like 1% of our, uh, the government's revenues came from income tax. That figure has since gone up. It's gone up, but you're getting almost the equivalent amount by uh, auction of uh, 2G spectrum. Mm. And that is continuing to 3D, 3G spectrum. And the 4G is there to come. Coal has not yet been properly... Uh, so you're saying the other ways? Oh, there are many other ways. And that's how we should So move. number one, get rid of income tax, which yes. will give a boost to the economy? That, uh, it will give a huge boost to the savings rate, because we are basically a saving country. And that would mean the investment cycle will start. Yeah. Second thing is you must bring down the interest rates to 9%, hmm. and raise the fixed deposit interest rate also to 9%. To encourage savings? Uh, savings. Okay. Okay. Uh, that will start the investment cycle. You see, the uh, rate of interest, uh, in which is why I had wanted Mr. Raj, uh, Raghuram Rajan to be sent out, is an instrument that affects the small and medium industries. Mm. The big industries, they can borrow money abroad also. And in the United States, you can borrow for 2%. Right. So here, you know, being 12%, 18%, it's, uh, it's very cruel. Mm. And uh, much of the damage that has been done by higher interest rates has been to the small and medium industries, which produce bulk of the employment. So the employment cycle must start. And that can only start if you get the small and medium industries moving. That means the cost of capital must come down. Okay, that's true. Then? 
Three. I think start with these two. I think that's enough. You also end the black money problem if you didn't black have income tax. Problem, if you didn't have income tax. No, if you don't have income tax, there's uh, I think 50% black money goes. Yeah. And if you use the UN uh, Convention for on Corruption of 19, uh, 2005, uh, you will be able to get at least 80% of the money abroad easily. The but we are not using it. I was going to say that. The government talked a lot about bringing black money back to India, but it's remained largely talk, no? Yes, yes, absolutely remain talk. I'm, I'm in, uh, in, a, in a petition in the Supreme Court on oversight, and finally the Supreme Court gave up because the committee appointed two judges. They were also just, mm. they think they have no work. Yeah. And they have not even given a proper office. They've been given two rooms in, in Ashoka Hotel. Is that true? They don't have an office? They don't have an office. Phone them up and say, check. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things the government has done, uh -huh. which people said you were in favor of, was demonetization. So were you in favor of demonetization? I was in favor of demonetization in 2014 when uh, Modi uh, set up a committee called Committee on Strategic uh, uh, Something for Elections. Uh, so in that uh, paper that we prepared, but we put several conditions. Said, so first is I said that the number of 100 rupee notes must be six times what it is today. Right. And I said it will take about two years. They didn't do that. No. Second is I said uh, uh, what you must do is allow people to put these old notes in their own bank account. No questions asked. Mm. Government will take away 25%. Okay. You will be allowed to take 25%, withdraw 25% in new notes. And the remaining 50% for five years in fixed deposit for 2% interest. Okay. Uh, but that was not done. Hmm. Well, what was done was something worse. Uh, they, uh, the government was to take away 50%. 50 and that mean, that means nobody would give it to the government. So the scheme flopped as a consequence. Yes, it was. It's a, it's a, the, the demonetization is only the gain we have got, at least the prime minister has got, is that he has been perceived as a man who wants to do something. Hmm. And there are all, lots of very rich guys who are trying to block him. Yeah. As, uh, in the early stages, Mrs. Gandhi had that same image. Was it, it is for him what bank nationalization that's was for right. Mrs. Gandhi. It's a similar that's thing. Right, that's right. Or, or Ma abolishing privy purses. Exactly. Many people say that the decline in the last two quarters in the rate of growth can be ascribed directly to demonetization. Do you accept that? Not uh, directly. Uh, certainly a contributive factor. Take, for example, the all three uh, past three years, the both the imports and exports have declined. Yeah. Now, what's that got to do with demonetization? Mm. Uh, there are so many indicators. Uh, the public expenditure, the private expenditure capital formation, as it's called, that is this investment essentially, that has been declining. What's that got to do with? Uh, but that has to do with confidence. The private sector is just not willing to invest. Uh, yeah, the, the, so these uncertainties, you see. And uh, but why? Tell me that also. When Mr. Modi was elected. We talked about a reform of prime minister. We talked about a fundamental change in the way economics would be done, where business would be done. We've really got a tinkerer with one demonetization scheme. No, no. I uh, see the demonetization scheme could have been definitely something a success. After all, uh, people don't want black money. Even people who have black money are not happy with it. Yeah. So you got to make this country has to be driven by so, incentives. So let me summarize. In, Principal demonetization was something you favored. Yes. The way they implemented it was right. something and, you favored. And I said it from day one. I was in Hong Kong on that day to address a meeting. Uh, and uh, the, the, the South China Post people came and I told them it was reproduced here in Times of India. And I said that this is going to fail because there's been no preparation. You are a member of the BJP. You are an economist who's taught at Harvard University. Yeah. Yet you have been, on the whole, let's be honest, kept out of the economic policy making in yeah, this I've government. I've been kept Ex out of practically everything. It's Explain not only that. economic policy. Explain that. Why does that? How, why does that happen? Well, I, you see, the, the, it, from time to time it varies. Uh, it had been. Uh, I had very good relations uh, when uh, Mr. Narsimara was. Uh, yeah, I remember I, that. I, I was literally on a daily basis uh, advising him and he was implementing. I had very good relations with uh, Mr. Chandrasekhar. You were his commerce minister. I, I was not only commerce but law and I was a senior most minister. And I did all kinds of things which uh, 
he as a socialist should have normally blenched, but he didn't. Given this experience, and given the fact that you're supposed to be an ideologue, the RSS has supported you, you've been kept out of everything. I can't explain that. Why should I explain that? You must have some idea. No, no, no. You no, must no, have no, some I've, idea. I've, uh, well, I mean, idea is no use. I don't even think about it. Because really? my popularity is growing every day. Some, uh, one, one magazine, uh, which is supposed to be the elite uh, Lutians magazine, did a poll and then embarrassed, uh, found I was number two in popularity and they kept me out. <laughs> they blacked out my name. So really? that's the kind of, which yeah. my, no, I won't tell you. You're not known for being coy, so you yeah, can I am it. being coy today. <laughs> that's very unusual. Sometimes, they can, sometimes I have to be coy. So, so because the, I would be letting down the confidential. Oh, the person uh, who told uh, you. Uh, uh, there is a view that the RSS is quite keen on you, yeah. but that many elements in the BJP are resisting this. Is this accurate? Not many. It would be wrong to say many. So there's a general uh, perception. So is it just some? Huh? Is it just some elements? Uh, well, some means, uh, we mean zero to three or? <laughs> I mean one, actually. Uh, uh, well, one is the worst. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, uh, but then uh, I don't think I have found uh, uh, Prime Minister giving any indication that he has any reservations. Yeah. So that's my other question. Yeah. That you appear to get along with the Prime Minister. You were an early supporter yes, of the Prime the earliest, Minister. I would say. Yeah, before there was any talk even yeah, of his becoming right. BJP's Prime Minister right, candidate. That's right. Do you still have that relationship with him? I have. It's cordial, but I have never asked him to make me a minister, for example. I've never asked him for anything. It's Does he seek your advice? Uh, very rare, uh, occasionally, and then, uh, you know, I put conditions which uh, he's not able to meet.